everyone today we have Samson Odhiambo to take us into the field of student entrepreneurship Samson karibu sana uh, yeah. tell us about yourself uh, I go by the name Odhiambo Samson I'm a second year student at Kibabi University taking bachelor of science in agriculture extension with education wow yeah apart from uh, my academic matters in this school in this region i also take i also do a business i in omena i take omena back from home which is sakwa from usenge beach and uh, come to this side of bungoma and do my business selling to the people Mm -hmm. available here. Wow. Yeah, Omena you. is such a unique business for a student like yourself. How did mm -hmm. you get into that? Yeah. Omena. Mm -hmm. Omena is sweet. <laughs> that that first thing you have to know. Okay. And uh, to the students here, uh, as I've seen, they like it because it is cheap. Mm -hmm. Getting it with the less than 30 shillings mm -hmm. you get yours that can take you through lunch and supper and you call it a day. So, and another thing that motivated me or me, drove me into the business is uh, students rather take it, go and cook it to th their houses when they were picky than when they were in hotel because when they were in hotel, they were charged higher. So when they were in the hotel, they were in is a bit cheaper. Mm -hmm. Na mbona mbona yeah. ulichagua? Most students when they come to campus, they just mm -hmm. finish because they are maybe being supplied fin uh, help, financial yeah. help by their parents, but wale more let me start my own business. Mm -hmm. Mbona uli decide unaanza biashara na nia umena? Ah. First thing as a youth. Mm -hmm. Before you do something, ushafika kwa campus life. One thing, ule zangalia nyumbani look back ana nyumbani kuna kaje what's your background and what do you want kushafika campus ndio the parents may be struggling wanaweza kuwa na struggle wapate that fee then pengine ulikuwa na kaa ndani wapate hiyo pesa ya hostel pengine na kaa pengine na kaa nje that rent so youth inafika time at a point we have to man ourselves up kishangalia background nyumbani kuna kaje eh nitazidi kutegemea wazazi mpaka lini yeah hata sometimes wazazi nyumbani wana struggle to me my parents are struggling yeah keeping me how can we keep wana struggle so me leona bora la kuangalia tu because i also have other siblings nyumbani wenye wanategemea wazazi elimu yao over 18 right now so kwenda kila time dad nataka credit nataka hii nataka hii inakuwa ngumu mhm mm so ibidi tu acha niwasaidie hata kama nitafanya hivi nipate pesa ya rent mm -hmm. that's good au sawa struggle na fees mhm mm cuz omeno kisha kuwa na chakula uko nayo ready yeah yeah so au atakuwa na struggle na fees mimi nitafute ya rent mm -hmm. na chakula maybe upkeep tu kidogo kidogo mm -hmm. Yeah. Na wazazi wako waliichukulia hiyo kiombea mimi nataka mm. kuanza biashara ya kuuza omena all your friends how did they take it Yeah first to my parents uh, I thank my dad I thank my mom for they have been supportive in the business So my dad after he realized yeye pia kwake ana struggle mm -hmm. na I came up with this idea mm -hmm. ya kwanza this business He was not reluctant and kubalia so aliniuliza tu support nataka kutoka kwake mm -hmm. and nilimwambia i want this this and that and he allowed me to my mom right now mimi niko hapa hivi bungoma yenda kwa nyumbani so huwa nikipata pesa 
yeye ndio mtumia aenda atafute. Yeye mm. mwenyewe anataka kwa gari ni kuja nichukue huko. Mm. So that's also a support to the wow. business. Okay. Yeah. Nile, you, you've mentioned mom ndio yeah. anaweka kwa gari anakutumia. What about ukienda mm. nyumbani? Do you go also ulisema you, you go and get it from the lake? Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, mm, well I'm on session mm-hmm. right kama sasa hizi niko kwa shule sasa mm. oh, i just do my business mimi niuze pesa ikiisha stock ikiisha mimi karibia kuisha nitume pesa mama aende because mm. you fair kuenda it's also a waste of time because yeah. pengine unaweza enda and you have classes yeah mm. uh, weekends nilikuwa naweza enda but i uh, also have some commitments on weekends mm-hmm. just in the university mm-hmm. yeah, apart from being a student kufanya your business I also have something nafanya hapa shule in part of leadership. Mm. Yes. Tuambie kidogo kuhusu hiyo. <laughs> okay. Leadership. Mm. Uh, Kibabi. Kibabi University we have our Premier League. Right now ukisikia background mm. kuna mpira na chezo. Yo, so there I'm the first year person. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I do man cases of indiscipline cases mm-hmm. they are all under me yeah okay and uh, running the league mm-hmm. inahitaji ukwepo wako wewe mwenyewe uko hapo karibu mm-hmm. so ukienda umeachia mwingine umeacha pengo mm-hmm. nobody will fit in easy there okay. so to make your things run smooth mm-hmm. yeah and uh, how competitive is the market obviously uko around mm-hmm. kuna watu pia wanauza umena how competitive is that market yeah The market is much competitive. Mm-hmm. In that apart from me being a student, you also have group of students here when you want to sell. So there's a co- Oh, there are also other students uh, yeah, who are selling, have, it, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a classmate of mine by the name Julius Ondijo. Mm-hmm. He's also one. Ah, uh, pia yeye anatoka those sides of home. Yeye pia anafanya the same business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So apart from those we kuna pia wa mama wa nje wa vibanda hao mm-hmm. wako na their specific customers wenye wanawatolea wanaletea from the lakes huko hiyo nyumbani mm-hmm. so business ni stiff mm-hmm. yeah so up to you vile mwenyewe una man vile vile mwenyewe una sweet talk yeah okay yes. speaking of sweet talking how mm-hmm. do you ensure that your customers are happy and who are they so in business customers for you to keep customers all you need to make them happy mm-hmm. let them win your trust kwa nae mm-hmm. always be available akipigia hello sam ko api nataka inai mm-hmm. bia niko hivi acha nifike ama acha nitume so and so mm-hmm. then umwambie na kuja na ukuji ha? ama akupigie we mwenyewe ameshakupigia and you are not available haupatikani mm-hmm. so hizo huwa zina lose trust among customers. So just win their trust, mm-hmm. be available to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the business will go on well. Okay. Yes. And how has the society around how have they taken a student selling on the na? Yeah, it's a mix of re- reaction. Mm-hmm. So some will see you wengine wanaona ah. Who is a great person? Mm-hmm. Na jaribu. Wengine pia wataona mm-hmm. ah huwa anafanya vitu zenye zimemzidi mm-hmm. uh, so uh, but what we have to do mm-hmm. is society they will have different perceptions about you uh, but we, what perception do you have towards your society mm-hmm. yeah and what is it that you have towards the society so my perception to the society mm-hmm. treat me as you like me to treat you okay yeah mm-hmm. How do you balance your studies? You said you're a student of architecture extension with education. Ag- agricultural, yeah? extension with agricultural education. extension with education. Yes. How do you balance I, I can imagine kuchukua umena kwenda kuuza that's a lot of work. So how do you balance your studies na kuuza umena? Yeah, um, I came to Kibabi University because of education. Mm-hmm. Academic matters and uh, that's the main thing. Nifanya mm-hmm. I'm in this land So my priorities nenda kwa academic matters. In manning my business na education to make sure as we clash 
namba yangu ya masomo I've stipulated my time and uh, to echo on that I also have a friend of mine yeah who um, is my partner tumekuwa tukifanya na business to him is uh, waiting for graduation so in any time I'll be busy held up na mambo na masomo ndio mwenye nitakuwa na reach out to him go fanya hivi and up hivi deliver this and up deliver this mm-hmm. yeah cuz uh, so that's the main thing and uh, I'll catch the essential education mm-hmm. it is not a joke <laughs> yeah. yeah it, it is so it is two in one mm-hmm. partly you're doing education mm-hmm. that you can be a teacher of biology and agriculture mm-hmm. and uh, another thing you are training to be an extension officer mm. so it's two in one mm-hmm. and we have to do all of it lazima to make sure we mm-hmm. run sawa mm-hmm. so it's kwe business inafinya masomo mm. yeah cuz masomo just this just a side hustle too yeah but the main biz- the main thing mm-hmm. my main business here is pursuing my degree wow yeah uh-huh. and uh, so what happens when schools close umeanzisha biashara yako huko shuleni Now kienda nyumbani what do you do So so far uh business nianzisha this January Yeah the beginning of January ndo tumeanzisha the business with my partner So till now but I just shule jafungwa tukakuwa away mm-hmm. from home from school from customers that neither same but we are planning mm-hmm. to overcome that cause Uh, partly mintenda nyumbani maybe i'll go home mm-hmm. but my friend my partner my business partner mm-hmm. by the name shadow nadalo mm-hmm. eh yeah, huko ndio kwao he will remain here so we will still intact with him mm-hmm. yeah, so eh mimi nikienda yatabaki because okay. i trust him with the business he also trust me with the business mm-hmm. yeah And how has how has experience being working with a partner who's doing your business and also studying has it been challenging am i umekuwa na mzozano somewhere because of that uh, so far first uh, working with a partner mm-hmm. and it's idea mostly to balance the education huh? the, the education matters that's the best thing and it's idea to work with a partner Uh, kwa na mzozano with between me and him mm-hmm. so far hakuja kuwa na any yeah mm-hmm. so it is just because he earns my trust i earn his trust okay. yeah just trust him mm-hmm. and let him trust me mm-hmm. and everything will be okay mm-hmm. but kianza kuwa na mashuku mimi na mshuki ana nishuku no business will be there mm-hmm. nothing will work kwa well. Sure. Yeah. And have you encountered any challenges um, uh, some things that you you needed to overcome so that you can continue with your business? Yeah, challenges have been there. Challenges we always have them. Mm-hmm. And you always you should always be prepared for challenges. Because okay. uh, we can use the challenges as a stepping stone to a next thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. To our next success. Mm, when we were starting the business First of all, for Nataka, mm-hmm. uh, omeni kutoka nyumbani, uh, kiuza, so kirudi, tuenda na viazi. Mm. Yeah. So at first time, tulienda na viazi. So mnatoa viazi huko, hey, mnapeleka hey, nyumbani? Hey, tuko natoa viazi huko, tunapeleka bondo. Okay. So hiyo viazi, at that time, ilitungiza kwa shimu. <laughs> kwa nini hebu niambie? Ilitungiza. <laughs> Um, estimation yetu mm-hmm. mm, market price ya huko na huko azingia ah, and we also tulikonka tulinka biggest loss jo tuchukua tuchukua kunya tano mm-hmm. but they were not in good condition when ah, alitupatia mm-hmm. aku a, yani alitupatia alipaka mafuta baka tu mafuta ajuu mm-hmm. chini kumbe haikuwa nzuri vile okay. so tukaenda kajaribu kuuza kapata customers wanaikimbia mara ndogo ndogo nini mm-hmm. nini 
so vile tulimka that close kwa viazi till now bora tujarudi kwa viazi tena mm. we still want to recover the pain bora nataka hiyo pain hii kwanza okay and you to na hiyo viazi mm. yeah but umena mm-hmm. umena loss mikua mm kuna time umena pia ikichukuliwa huko inaendana na mwezi mm-hmm. mwezi kiwa juu kupata umena nguvu Yeah, so the best time to harvest omena ni in the dark. Mm-hmm. So mapata ile pesa yenye si si tumepata kwa biashara that profit ni tumetaka tuongeze. Si tukiongeza aiendani na moon. Mm-hmm. Moon ikaendi kai meza. So that's also a challenge. Mm-hmm. But yote ni business. Mm-hmm. And uh, do you ever have a plan B when such circumstances hit? Yeah, plan B is always there because mm-hmm. uh, our savings zote oh, kuna yenye tumeka ya ku ya ku replace losses. Kuna hiyo kwangu tumetenga. Mm-hmm. Ita re, ita replace in case this loss imeoka. Mm-hmm. Tutafanya hiyo diende sawa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's well taken care of. Okay. Yes. And you happened to mention that uh, ulisema mimi nimekuwa over 18 na tukaka yeah. kujitegemea at some point wazazi yeah. wangangane na kitu kingine. Yeah. So in a situation where you may car loss and you need to yeah. facilitate such an expense what do you do? Uh, so that's also a challenge. Mm-hmm. Uh, but pia uh, ningana umeongea na mzazi aje shambia dad eh, dad mm-hmm. kumenda hivi ibi na medani menda hivi mm-hmm. kazama hivi so this and this bado nitakutegemea mm-hmm. it will show up ama niambie dad dad menda hivi na tumekosa hii pesa sina my partner mm-hmm. ningependa utusaidie to push in tuendelee tena mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and uh, ulisema biashara ya viazi mm-hmm. once you hit that loss you mm-hmm. did not recover you didn't want mm-hmm. to continue mbona ya umena uli, uli decide wacha tuendele so tuki pump in mm-hmm. our sources into the two business mm-hmm. tulikuwa na two books running mm-hmm. one book for mena one book for potatoes mm-hmm. yeah. so here potato this amount yenye to resource ya potatoes mm-hmm. ile tuliona mm-hmm. atuwezi kicover ili tuliweka kando kwanza mm-hmm. but umena vile tulianzisha baada ya tupatia that big loss Mm-hmm. Ni tunaweza, ni tunaweza hii hili. Okay. Eh hii tuna, hii niokuambia tuko na savings yetu yenye ina replenish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, sasa hivi uko second year. Yeah, I'm second year. And uh, you're yet to finish. Yes. What where do you see your vision in your career and in your business? So, in my business, mm-hmm. my business said uh, before the end of the year. Mm-hmm. I would like ama tungependa mm-hmm. as business partners to pump in more resources so tukutoke hata na samaki huko kikuja huko then uh, biashara ya viazi mm-hmm. tuifufue tena mm-hmm. ya yeah, iendelee mm-hmm. that's my business side and everything ikianda hivyo kila kitu itakuwa sawa mm-hmm. then uh, degree my degree journey <laughs> David me pambana na. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cuz uh, apart from degree uh, it is not my wish nifanye degree na ishi hapo. Mm. Yeah, also want to go further. Mm. Yeah. Nataka niende for that ikiwa zikana nifanye PhD and masters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Na sasa ukifanya PhD and masters utaachana na biashara yako ya umena? Kama <sighs> utaendelea nayo so umena uh, vile tumeanzisha hii ko chini already mm-hmm. so kuiacha mm-hmm. itakuwa shida unless otherwise mm-hmm. but uh, kwa sasa hivi we are planning to expand kwa kubwa mm-hmm. tuache tu tumekuwa tukiuzia mostly students mm-hmm. nimekuwa hapa hivi my fellow comrades na wa, wa hoteli mm-hmm. so hiyo imeshashika chini already 
So unless others come it a be come to change places ndio it a go. Mm-hmm. But I'm um, bado sioni hata tuki change places ikienda mbaya. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It is intact. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you also spoke about leadership. Wewe yeah. ni leader in uh, your sports uh, area, right? Yeah. So how do you get to do that? Na soma na unauza. Yeah. How do you balance the three? First thing, leadership is a call. Mm-hmm. That's what you have to know. So when you are called to be a leader, mm-hmm. always be there. Uwezi kaa mwito wa kuwa kiongozi. Ukishai tu kaa kuwa kiongozi. Mm-hmm. That's all. And being a leader is also nice. Sometimes ni mzuri. But pia singine mm-hmm. unapata wenzako huku hivi wanakukashifu. Mm-hmm. Cuz being a leader tunaenda kufanyia when you are wrong said kama kuna kesi na mwingine mhm eh tunaenda fanyia ndafanyia huyu not the same na nyenda kufanya si ndio mm-hmm. so mwingine ataona nimefanya vibaya so lazima ukue na hizo kashifu mm-hmm. eh? but huyu mwenye umefanya ikamfavor when you do the right thing mwingine ataona ah huyu amefanya kitu mzuri kwa kiongozi huyu mm-hmm. amenikalia huyu mm-hmm. mtu atasema huyu anatumia pa yake kutukandamiza want to make papa yake vizuri. Okay. So being a leader most of the time uh being on the pitch ya kwanga weekends mm-hmm. and weekdays so sakasa hizi jioni order wa sakasa hizi ndio unatakikana kwa pitch. Mm-hmm. So hiyo it will never interfere with my academic matters. Okay. It will never since nianze nianze ku hapo hiyo. Uh, being a leader, doing business and also a student. These are three things. Mm-hmm. Do what makes you happy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Find what makes you happy, then do it. Mm-hmm. Kisha then be self driven. Julize ah. Mimi, mimi ni leader wa Samsung, si ndio? Mhm. Mimi ni entrepreneur, nafanya business yangu. I'm also a student. Hizi vitu zitarana aje time management also matters here. Okay. How do I manage my time as a leader? Mm-hmm. How do I manage my time as an entrepreneur? Mm-hmm. How do I manage my time as a student? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. As long as you have your time management, these two these three things they will never they will never clash. Wow. Yeah. Wow, you're such a motivation to me. Yeah. Nimependa kila kitu unafanya, nimependa you. your humility to the work you're doing. Yeah. How jigambi like okay, me nafanya hivi so you know. Uh-huh. I love that and I'm commending you for doing this. Being a leader is not about what you can do or how good you can speak. It's a, come it's a calling and if you feel you have that calling go ahead and do it and as he has said if you are over 18 usikae chini ungoje mzazi akupe si kila kitu unapewa credit jitaftia au sio this has been youth in action i am nyangweso grenis see you next time this is the way to do it This is the way.